It's Saturday. Good morning. It seems odd to say it. It's actually fairly late in the morning. I've had breakfast. I've done a bunch of chores. I've dried some clothes and the weather is beautiful. And I'm going to head off for one more ride to the north side. The objective is to view an X close. That's a part of the forest that's blocked off from the deer. And so I get to see what the forest would look like without the deer eating everything. So we'll see if I get there or not. In any case, I got a nice picnic lunch packed and it'll be a nice ride no matter what. Okay, this time I'm hanging a right here uh, toward Lac Plantain, Lac Louiseau, and Petit Macassi. There's some distances there which may or may not be accurate. <laughs> now, if I just wanted to get to the north shore of the island, I'd turn left at this intersection here, Chuta, Boulay, Petit Macassi, etc. Uh, but I'm going to go straight toward Lac Plantain. Uh, my turn off toward the X close is maybe another kilometer up. And in fact, I'll do a detour and see the lake and then I'll make my turn. Road here pretty good. Uh, I had thought it would all be gravel like this. All right. And uh, that would be pretty ugly. It won't focus for some reason, but trust me, that's bad gravel. <laughs> uh, but no, um, actually, that's just where the cars haven't been. Where the cars have been, or the trucks, I guess, more accurately. The roads are pretty clear. Uh, it's a bit of loose gravel, but not too bad at all. This is Lac Plantain. Doesn't look like it gets too deep, which means the water is pretty warm and probably nice swimming. I'm not going to swim in that dog because i got a lot of biking to do yet. Okay, I've come back up from my detour to Lac Plantain, and now this is the road that goes up to the X closes. Uh, first one, I guess, is Lac Superior, Nacasti, Lemaire, Lac Claude, etc. I don't think I'll be able to get to all of them. There's no need, really. And there's also a route to the sea here. It's a bit much, but we'll see how I feel. It's just afternoon, so it's not too late at all. So. This road looks a bit rougher, but still perfectly passable. Look at it. And once again, I get this feeling, this knowledge, that I'm really all alone out here. And this is a part of the island that most people don't even go to see. It's just a wash in flowers, open skies clicking insects and whatever, birds of prey. Nothing wrong with this road. Okay, I've reached the first of the fences for the exclaves. This one though is wide open at the road, so I'm not sure if it's really succeeding in keeping out deer, but what do I know? <laughs> I don't know how these work. You can certainly see a difference in the vegetation, though, even with the fence the way it is. Here's the far gate of the X close, and uh, I've been calling it an X closure or whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, there are deer in here. I saw one bouncing by in front of me having the time of its life still. You can see the difference in the vegetation. What you mostly notice is that you've got a lot of poplar and some birch, maybe even some beech. Uh, poplar was called the weed 
of the forest when I lived in Alberta because, you know, it would just spring up everywhere. And so, you know, they had no problem just chopping it down and popping it. But you remember poplar is needed to seed the more durable, more valuable pine trees because they need protection. And that's what poplars give them. All the roads through the exclaves are like this. Here I am at an intersection. And you can see they're all about the same. Uh, there's, they're a bit rocky, a bit bouncy. Uh, there's a fair bit of uh, rock outcrops on them, but they're nothing really that uh, a decent mountain biker or even hybrid can handle. So I took a left when I planned to take a right and I ended up on the coast, but uh, I guess I can't really complain too much, really. Time for lunch. Well, the picnic table's all in the sun, and despite, again, one of the best outhouses in the world, shoot a bole just four kilometers away by bike. Sounds good. Maybe I'll go there before lunch. Okay, well, I've changed my mind. <laughs> in theory, there's a loop. In practice, it looks like there's this little gap where there might be a river flowing into the sea. <laughs> And so I'm not sure that, you know, this is a good plan to go four kilometers out and four kilometers back, adding on to what I've done already. So I think I'm going to turn around, head back. Uh, I still have to go back up the hill that took me down to the sea. Uh, still need to find lunch or a place to have lunch. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll skip this. So this is the intersection from a few minutes ago. How would you interpret that sign? I chose to interpret that both of those things were to the left. However, I think I should have inferred La Mer to the left, which is where I went, and Petit Macasti to the right, which is where I'm going to go now. Okay, one hill too many. It changed my mind again. And I'm going to turn around here and head back basically straight out the way I came. I'm gonna look for a nice spot for lunch. This is almost it, but there's no real place to sit here. I wanna find a place in the shade because it's getting hot. All right, talk to you soon. Okay, I'm gonna have my lunch here. I'm still kind of in the sun. Well, I'm definitely in the sun and the rocks aren't completely steady to sit on, but I'll want to access that water later. So this is it. So for lunch, we're having Nor Sidekick Chicken. I had uh, chicken and broccoli the other day. Uh, you might wonder where this came from. Well, uh, at Camping Wilcox, uh, when I came back from Bay de la Tour, I met this nice couple on fat bikes um, who were out there and uh, just casually commented I was out of food. I wasn't asking for food, but they gave me this. And uh, they also gave me some uh, wheat germ and... Uh, something else but I've forgotten what it was um, so anyhow um, I had one of those the other day and I'm having this one for lunch today so I very much appreciate that they by the way uh, ended up renting a truck and you remember my cash from way back when well I never did pick it up and so they'll be picking up my cash for me um, which is really nice, and they're going to send it to me by bus or something. So, uh, basically, I'm taking their Nor, and I'm adding a can of tuna to it, and a bunch of cherry tomatoes, and that makes for a really, really good filling meal. Uh, the only issue with the Nor is that it takes a little bit more to cook than the, uh, freeze-dried food, because, of course, the noodles aren't cooked. Freeze-dried food is already cooked, you just need to, like, make it wet. Still, this comes out really nice. It's the way I had it the other day. It was just terrific. So here's the route I took on a map that I took a photograph of from the hardware store. None of the online maps are at all accurate here. I started at my campsite and went up the river toward Point West as I had before. But in this case, I turned off to the right and headed out to Lac Plantain, as you saw. This is an ATV trail I did not go up. This is the route to the, uh, the falls, which I did not go up. Instead, I went up this route to get to the X close. Here's the first uh, fence. 
I went up through the X close um, and then across and over to the next X close and this is where my trail changed and uh, I went down to the coast and then up along here just a little bit and here's the four kilometers to the falls and you can see that little gap in the map and it made me think well maybe there's no road there and I still think maybe there's no road there so anyhow I decided not to go up there I went up this way a wee bit and turned back um, I actually wonder if I wasn't actually going along there and like that and maybe might even have missed it entirely. Whatever. So I've traced my route all the way back to Port Meunier and my campsite and that was the day. Spent the rest of the afternoon riding home and then relaxing in the evening. It was a perfect ride on a perfect day and a great way to win my bike packing on Anticosti Island. Mm -hmm.